Hello, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use the split command in the surface design like a TRV5. So for showing the split command I'm going to open up the surface design and I'm going to make a profile. So let's say uh, firstly I'll create a, say a cylinder of uh, around uh, 30 or 50 or anything. 850 so 50 so I'm gonna select this as my uh, my point is this one and my plane is this one so the radius is too big I guess so you can give around 20 or something so here we go so we have 20 so now I'm gonna create a spline let's say we have a long spline here and now I'm going to extrude this 30 mirror extent now let's see now if I'm going to give split over here this is the split command which is there in the operation toolbar right here so uh, if you're not able to find the tool uh, you're always welcome to search in the customized toolbar and uh, uh, you can reset and find out the tool so I guess uh, that's been explained in one of my uh, uh, videos, uh, tutorials, where you can find the use workbenches. So restore all contents and restore position. So uh, I'm going to select the split command and I'm going to select the element to cut. This is the element that I want to cut and this is going to be the cutting element. So see here, this is the other side so I'm gonna select other side other side so if I click OK this side is gonna go so this is how the split command simply works now I'm gonna show you some more uh, details in the split command so if I click keep both sides what gonna happen both sides are gonna remain so what is the use of split what happens here is there is a point there is a curve being created uh, which is uh, exclusive uh, in this particular option, split option. Though this can be created using projection, uh, which can be seen over here in the tutorial I'm going to put soon. This is an option, an exclusive option in the split command. So here, uh, let's see some more uh, options in the split command. So here we have uh, something called as, uh, you know, giving more elements to cut. So let's put uh, some more elements for cutting. So let's say, um, let's give around, uh, I'm going to give another point right here. Come out of the sketch and I'm going to give the cylinder and uh, this is going to be my plane. The radius is going to be for 10. So 10, okay. So let's see how split works when there are I'm gonna add one more uh, one more point. Let's say right here. I'm gonna add one more point. That's gonna be right here. So come out of the sketch and uh, give cylinder. So I'm gonna increase it to 15. Click OK. So let's see what happens when I give three cutting elements. So now I'm going to give the split command and here click over here in this particular button and select the multiple elements that you want to use as a cutting elements and now in the cutting element section select this as the cutting element section. So as uh, this is getting uh, this is overlapping you're going to get some error over here so you can uh, you're always welcome to select this point and uh, move it over here come out of the sketch so there is no error now so give the split command give the multiple elements right here three of them and cutting elements are this one so what is the error being shown over here there's no solution for this operator so uh, let's see this one this one and this one are separate elements so 
so see I have already created a split over here that is the reason you're getting some error so now let's see what happens so I'm going to give the split command and uh, the elements to be cut are this one this I'm sorry so here I'm going to give the split command once again uh, <laughs> so I'm going to give one two three and cutting elements is this one so here we go we have three cutted elements right here you can snap it you can swap it I mean you can swap it on both sides so here we go these are uh, uh, the cutting I mean the cutting being done with three elements so that's multi output so mm, that's it so again uh, I want to tell you one more thing that is uh, you can delete this split and uh, click on the split button here what happens if I give this as the cutting element so this is gonna be the cutting element no the element to cut and this is gonna be the cutting element now let's see what happens see a hole is being created if you click on the other side if you click OK this is what happens so this becomes the knife and that becomes the fruit so that's a, in a simple language you can understand so that's about split so I hope you follow my video so if you're for if you're finding any difficulty in any part of my video you can just give me a comment and you can keep me subscribed thank you